Hey guys, what's up? Richard here with another chess game review. Uh, today I'm gonna review a game that I played uh, during the tournament. Nowadays I don't play, you know, just random games anymore because, uh, you know, I I just started using the app. My rating here is pretty low. You know, the uh, uh, opponents I I met are gonna be of really low low rating. So a lot of times when I, you know, I just don't want to play the like the regular. Uh, matches. I just I I just abandon those matches because the uh, opponents are just um, you know they're they're just beginners who, who don't really know how to play chess. So um, that's why I started to play this tournament. Uh, so without further ado, let's see what happened in this game. <clears throat> this game I had the black pieces. So we have d4, d5, queen's pawn, uh, slop slop defense with uh, c3, uh, <clears throat> knight f6. Knight c3, uh, and here, um, you know, I don't really like playing against these structures is because, you know, this pawn center is really strong, and all of a sudden you just find, find yourself in trouble, you don't really know what to do with, uh, with this pawn center, so, um, we have bishop to, bishop f5, um, Knight d2 just developing and uh, Knight a5. Knight a5 is actually a, a blunder just uh, just he he didn't see it uh, because of, because the bishop can just capture it and uh, you know that that's really um, you know I don't know why I blundered like that he he tried to capture with the pawn, so you know, now my knight is defended. Um, and then, you know, knight captures on e3 is is good. I mean, because you know it comes with a double attack on the bishop and the queen, and um, you destroy the base of their pawn chain, right? So. Uh, Queen to e2, and you you could capture the bishop right now, but capturing the bishop doesn't doesn't do you any good, huh? Um, it's just an exchange. White is very high, happy to do this kind of exchange. So, uh, knight c2 with the check. King has to move, and knight captures on the rook. Now he's a rook down, and throughout the game, black has has a disadvantage. And now because of the position, this uh. Uh, because uh, you know, due to the position of this knight, uh, your bishop you can play this bishop check move because the knight is defending the bishop, king has to move, and then um, bishop to d6, queen comes out with the check, and here, uh, just don't panic because, um, don't freak out because he, he can't capture rook, the queen is guarding the yeah, uh, don't don't try to move your queen, let's change queens, do some silly stuff like that because they're gonna capture a rook. So uh, don't freak out, continue with your attack. Here uh queen comes with the check, just king moves because nothing serious here. Here bishop captures, he should play pawn captures. He he definitely should capture back and um you know, right now he's just down the piece. And um Here, queen here. I mean, queen is trying to escape. I understand that, but he he didn't see that his own pawn is in danger. And right now, you know, um, white is completely busted because uh, you know before he has this really strong pawn center. Right now, you know, the base of this pawn chain is all destroyed. So, uh, Bishop with the check. Don't panic now because you know you you have you have more checks. You have to calculate this. Uh, don't see oh his bishop is trying to capture my queen. It doesn't doesn't matter. You have another check. Bishop check. And this is just gonna completely destroy him. Uh, king has to move, and give another check. Bishop. Uh, you know king, the the king can't capture the bishop because the queen is guarding the bishop. So king goes down. 
you know, right now, here is really a blunder. You know, here, this is time that he should have captured the bishop, made the, made this change, and the game continues. But um, because he doesn't want to sacrifice that queen, he doesn't want to exchange that queen, you know, mm, he uh, made this blunder. This, you know, king e3 is a really blunder because I have knight here. Uh, I have a knight on a1, and this knight can, can go to... Uh, c2 and deliver checkmate so um you know when the opponents are you know launching their queen or something you know getting their queen out just don't panic and that means you know a they don't really know what they're doing b they're re like they're really mad at you because you know they're already having a really you know a great disadvantage or something and um, they really want to win this game you know, that's why they um they get their queen out like that don't just don't don't pa don't panic if you play the right move his queen is not going to do anything here so you know so anyway uh when you're playing against this kind of player you cannot expect some you know just some uh, qu very quiet game just play the joko piano play the uh, normal variation and um, you know um, uh, go to end game or something. You can't. Play, you can. You know when when you're playing against this kind of play player, uh, people in the seven hundreds, eight hundreds, or thousands, even you know people people of a higher level level. You really have to calculate. You know you have to calculate for for checks. Uh, you know for check for checkmate for captures for attacks. You have to calculate those ideas, otherwise, you know, because they those people are, those people don't want to play a quiet game. You know, that's you know, um, therefore, I mean, just practice your calculation and uh, chess really, uh, you know, practices your calculation ability. Uh, you know, that's part of the reason why I like playing chess. Yeah, so there you have it. Uh, that's it for for this game. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As usual, if you guys like my content, please uh, give it a like, sub subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification button. So so next time I post a video, you guys won't miss it. Thanks uh, thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.